guys, we are the Airship Chefs, and welcome to the Brass Spectacle, as in uh, tutorials for food. Just because we're two chefs, we're both in college, or at least we were, we're of college age, and every college student needs easy recipes, because you can't live on ramen noodles and hot dogs forever. One of these days, your body's going to break down the everything in your body and just be like, no, I need more nutrition than that. Yeah. So we come to you with uh, tortilla pizza. And all you need are tortilla shells, flour or corn, your choice. Mini, mini pepperonis. Some shredded cheese. <laughs> and uh, your enthusiasm, because that's everything about cooking and living. You yes. need enthusiasm. Enthusiastically cook your food and spaghetti sauce. Your choice. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your can of spaghetti sauce, whatever brand you choose. We choose Hunt's, mostly because... Hunt's is delicious. And really I wouldn't trust anything else. I, I don't particularly trust Kroger brand. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll do Kroger brand like just about everything else. Just not the tomato sauce. And not meat, either. That's why we got Hormel. Because Hormel is good for you. Um, anyway, so you take your can and you empty it into another receptacle. And then, because you're going to need this as a template. And you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and get a muffin tin. Because it's a muffin tin. Like, come on. Let me see if I can. All right. You want to take your tortilla. See so I can get to one. It's being ridiculous. And still a little bit of water in there because as you can see, I washed it. You just want to take it and sort of use it to make like a templated outline. Like this. And then you just kind of stick it in your muffin tin, like this. Take some spaghetti sauce. It's kind of a little drizzle of sauce. Cheese. Cheese. And whatever toppings you please, it's easiest to make with pepperoni. I really prefer, I usually prefer onions or bacon or cream peppers, pe yeah, peppers on my yeah. Pizza, but we really didn't have time to buy all that. And the peppers we got, well, they're being used for dinner. Yeah, the peppers are for stir fry later. Um, so then you want to just get rid of that thing. Yeah, I think that's silicone. Yeah, that's what keeps it fresh. Do not eat. And just drizzle with some pepperoni. I don't think you can drizzle solid objects. Sure, yes, you can. <laughs> I think oh. you were looking for the word scatter. Whatever word I was looking for. Um, so you do that, fill up your tin, and bake it for 12 minutes. And then uh, take it out, let it cool for another 10, and then gently use a fork to just kind of get them out. And you have little... This might work better if you had silicone uh, cupcake pans. pans. Because you could just fold them yeah. and just kind of pop them out. But we don't have that because we're not fancy and we're kind of pinching our pennies. Yeah, we're not fancy and we're pinching our pennies, same as you guys. So a good old-fashioned metal cupcake tin will work. So the rest of this is going to be a long, boring process of me just doing the same thing another 11, 11 times. So we'll be back when they're out of the oven and we'll show you guys what they're supposed to look like, sort of. Assuming they turn out okay. See you then. Bye. Hi guys, we're back. And uh, as you can see, they're done. They're done, 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 done. Um, these are in the oven for 12 minutes. And then we let them sit for another 10. And it's literally just as easy as taking a fork, getting it down the side, and pushing it out. They come out, no stick, no nothing. Didn't have a problem getting any of them out. And uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be super duper tasty. So we will see you guys on the next episode. Um, we're actually going to be doing a ton of stuff tonight, which includes um, red velvet cupcakes with fruit in the middle, 
Jello shops? Not shops, because we're not including the alcohol, but we don't have any. I know. Um, but yeah, some um, Jello filled strawberries and uh, keeping with our theme of cheap foods, cheese sticks that are basically just flattened bread and cheese. But they're supposed to be super duper tasty, so I'm kind of looking forward to those. So, um... We'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. This Bye. is the Brass Spectacles. This is Lilith and Annika signing off. Bye!